hadn't even started the video yet, and she's okay. Oh, <laughs> messing up his hair. Yeah, yeah. He's at five hundred just... subscribers. Thank you. I'm only making my hair worse. But as she said, yeah, that. Pfft, you don't I... need to fix it, honey. <laughs> I don't know anymore. There we go. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, as she said, we have 500. By the time you guys see this, we might be at 600. I have no idea at this point because the 401, by the time I, it got officially uploaded, we were already here, so. Um. Yep, now we're going to do the Chubby Bunny Challenge, which we were trying to do on the 300 <sighs> mark, but we instantly failed because someone got the wrong marshmallows and wouldn't listen to his fiance. She's right. <laughs> About getting the tiny ones. Well, not the tiny. These the are not medium the medium ones. Because I didn't get the tiny ones. Otherwise, there, there would be no point to that challenge. Anyway, we got two bags of them. What she had was the bigger one. Uh, from now on, I'm probably going to do every 500 for subs, but given the speed that these things are going at, there actually is something I'm going to want to talk about after the Chubby Bunny Challenge as well, but we'll get Forget. to that after. You'll find out. We'll get to that afterwards. Don't Should worry. No, <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I kind of want to. I kind of want to take turns shoving them into each other's mouths. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how this works, but I uh, mean, you could. It could. You could. I could shove it in your mouth, and you could be like chubby bunny. Have, have you? Have, have, I was gonna say, have you ever even seen anybody do the chubby bunny you. challenge before? Uh, fair enough. Okay. I saw fine. that video. Fine. All right. For those who don't know, for some reason. Nine years ago, there was this challenge called the Chubby Bunny Challenge. And basically, you shove marshmallows, these, uh, uh, like one by one marshmallows, into your mouth and say Chubby Bunny until you can't fit anymore in. I thought uh, it was Fluffy Bunny. You said Fluffy Bunny. I in the, bit, bitty, in video the, in the original, for, in the original version, I accidentally <laughs> said Fluffy Bunny, but it's Chubby Bunny. I know. Anyway, so we'll be we'll do a couple rounds of this since we have enough to do a couple. But after that, we'll just see what the tallies are. Okay, ready? Go. Ah! Thumbs up, thumbs up! Blah, blah. Strawberry Barnard. Okay, Peter Cottontail. Hello. Hey. Oh, hold on. Strawberry Barnard. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Probably fit one or two more in there. Oh, I'll put the more. Don't bite my finger. <laughs> Papa, bite me! That's six. Papa, bite me! Just do this when you've had enough, okay? Okay, one. How about buy it? Do. <coughs> oh, careful. Nope. Careful. Can't. You're like, okay, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Sorry, guys. I suck at this. Uh. Well, I've got a big mouth, so... Yeah, you do. A very big mouth that won't shut up. Here, this is the kind of... This is the kind of chub... Don't worry. This is the kind of the chub bunny she is. Hey, I'm not a 
bunny. Bunny, bunny. <laughs> ah ha. Ah. Okay, smart ass. Ah uh ha. -huh. Seven. Ash One, two. two. I know. I was counting the three. Eh. Four. Four. Uh, excuse me, Ursula. myself into. feel backwards at all. It's not. She's. I got a head growing out of my side. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. No, he's got a head growing out of his shoulder. It will... <laughs> the shoulder's up here, hun. Yeah, you got it. It's, um, it's growing out of my armpit. Yeah. I'm sure that smelled good. I didn't care. <laughs> I mean, I smelled Todd's feet. They smell worse. They're basically death by socks. I can think of someone else who's worse. Not gonna say who, but <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> that was a shoe. Uh, okay, I'm good enough. <laughs> that was a shoe. That <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway. A shoe rubbing on the desk. The, the, the bottom. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It does. Anyway. Okay, conversationalist time. Where's the other chair? Right here. This chair technically don't belong to me, but I don't care. It doesn't belong to anyone. It's true. <coughs> okay, so... I, I I feel like I'm... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to move the camera a little bit. There we go. Cool. Ugh. Are you okay, Mr. Cassius, today? <laughs> you hush. Anyway, so I did say at the beginning of this I was actually going to talk about something, kind of a discussion thing as well. I kind of felt, since it's something a little bit motivational, it might match. Um... This uh, milestone bit a bit. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to be talking about is actually an 80s song. I don't know if you actually know this song or not. Depends on what it is. The Middle by Jimmy World. That's what I thought. So, Maybe I have. I don't know. <clears throat> so the song, I, I, for those who don't know, I usually, when I'm doing like side stuff to help prep for some of the videos that I do on this channel, I'll be like singing to instrumentals of different uh, popular songs, whether more recent or not. Uh, but as I said, the one that I'm thinking of today is uh, a song called The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. Um, <clears throat> I look so dead tired right now. Well, you have been out and about for a long time today. Yeah, and I only got three hours of sleep last night. Yeah, she's gonna be go get sleep after this. 
Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so the middle is a song. I can actually. So I was singing through the middle, and something off, kind of randomly came to my mind. I'm like, that is actually very encouraging. For those who don't know the lyric that I'm, the lyrics that I'm talking about, first of all, I'll go ahead and go through the chorus by word, not actually sing it for obvious reasons. But it just takes some time. Um, you're in the middle of the ride. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be just fine. Where have I heard that song? I know I've heard it somewhere. We're gonna go off for a sec. Hold on. Okay, she has heard it. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have, but yeah, it just I, took me a while to realize it. A lot of people, though, most people from like the current generation have heard it from the movie. Um, <clears throat> Sorcerer's Apprentice. That's not where I heard it from, because I never even watched it. What was it that you... Well, that one was more... I heard it on the radio. Ah. My custodial mother back in Virginia, she would listen to 80s oh. on 8 on Sirius XM. Yeah, it makes sense. It definitely pops up on that channel a lot. Anyway, so... <clears throat> I guess... That when I started thinking about it, I was like, wow, this is very, very, very um, motivational. Very... Yeah. Uh, feeling Down definitely listened to that song. I was like, I don't know. For some reason, I thought that I was like... I started thinking through not just the chorus lyrics, but... Um, <clears throat> both of the verses that show up just had a tendency to... present themselves as something that's very encouraging. And it's... I, I have a tendency to listen to very encouraging music a lot... Or at least very uplifting and upbeat music. Outside of that, though, I I don't know. For some reason, I can't really listen to anything else. But I started hearing, listening, thinking about that song. Was like, whoever this song that song was written for, it must have been. They must have been like going through a rough time or something. It, it was written for a girl because I mean. Technically, the chorus is "Little girl, you're in the middle of the ride," but the middle of the ride is kind of—it's a phrase that's just kind of saying that you just got started. Don't give up, and that thought on its own for me just kind of—it—it's very enticing for me to think about. I think it's like don't give up on what you're doing just because you run into some issues. And those happen That's to all of us. That's how a lot of people try to live their lives. Is yeah. No matter the obstacles in your life, you guys should always... That's... <laughs> That's both of us. Yeah. That's if like... we had to jump through so many <laughs> obstacles and hurdles through our yeah. entire lives, I doubt we would have met each other as we have right now. Ain't that the truth? Our life and is kind of... In a sense, as life much is... As we are derpy together. We do love each other. Yeah. That... So that one... The, the statement that you mentioned earlier actually does make a lot of sense to me. So, look at it this way. Life is kind of like a circus if you're a lion. And a lot of the hurdles are like those uh, rings of fire. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're gonna get. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't know that reference, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> no, I thought... Wait, I said it wrong. Crap. No, you said it right. Oh, I did? Life is like a box of chocolates. You Yay! never know which one you're gonna get. That's the exact line. I thought it was... Life was nothing but... Uh, life is like... I'm you, so... You got it right. exhaustion is... Yeah, she's... It's confusing me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. I still but, loved... Regardless, I do think that that kind of um, optimism definitely is, should be encouraged. And it's so, it's one of the reasons that, like, for those who do succeed in their lives, usually are the kind of people that are that optimistic, which is really nice to see. Like, for example, his parents are the most optimistic people I've ever met. And they live in a beautiful house. They have three amazing kids. I have no idea how they did that. <laughs> they have three amazing kids, including this one. 
my, my, dad, my, my grandparents, my grandmother or my dad or someone part of my family probably see this and they're like, what are they talking about? Whereas my parents are a little bit pessimistic and critical of everything in situations to the point where I told my mom I was not moving back home no matter how much she tried to convince me. And I mean... Because they, I'm more optimistic than they are. The problem with people like that is they look at it as realism. Like, my dad's a realistic person, but he's very optimistic about it. There's a difference between being optimistically realistic and then just purebred realistic. Because those who are just realistic without thinking about, hey, this is a good way to go about it, usually end up being like that. I, I'm going to admit this straight up. I have been through things that I've would have never had to go through if my mom had actually stepped up to the plate when I was little. Some people are just afraid. That is a fair point. She was. Anyway. But I dig digress. <clears throat> so with everything, even with everything I went through, I try to keep a smile on my face and I try to be the most optimistic person. And sometimes and it can seem sometime, fake, but... Yeah, but... I have this one to be able to help me through and see right through my fakeness sometimes. I mean, it's not all the time, but it is rare times like when I do get slightly it's very depressed. Ra- it's very rare where you seem like you're actually, f- where you are actually are faking it, but... But you can even see through right through that, so... Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to fake the kind of th- that kind of thing with me. I mean, <laughs> you are getting married to me soon, so I, I'd assume you know it. I'd be shocked if otherwise were the case. Regardless, it's always nice to see optimistic people. Yeah, it's good to be realistic. Uh, most people, because most some a lot of people who are optimistic, push us brush aside realism and just go, "Oh, things are just going to be fine and dandy." And then they approach it and they're like, "It doesn't work out the way they thought." I used to be that. Kind like of person, for actually. example, I was kind of <clears throat> hoping I'd get a brand new car today. Yeah. But I didn't, so even with that being said, it was a hard morning spending five and a half hours at the dealership just for not getting a car loan, but at the yeah. same time, I look at it as a blessing in disguise because maybe it was God telling, or whoever... What, whatever you believe in. Or whatever you guys Circumstantial believe in. spirits, uh, God, uh, higher being, it really depends on what you believe. That it no- was it wasn't fate or it wasn't right for me to get a new car at that moment specifically just to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. I was actually going to use an example of my own for something like that. I used to be the kind of person who would be super optimistic. My dad used to be like what I am now. He'll like throw in the idea of, hey, look, I know it's good that you're um, approaching things with that kind of mindset, but you have to keep in mind the circumstances oh, yeah, that you're can still... Like that. I, yeah, this used it makes to be me my dad. smack you. Yeah, but realism sometimes is ignored through optimism, and it's kind of... I, hey, I, I am not, proof of this. I, I am mean, proof of this. It's not ignored through me. I'm just <clears> going <throat> to talk to you about it, though. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it needs to be discussed, so that's fine. But I guess the point of this whole thing is just that, back to square one, having people, regardless of how the outcome is, it's always good to have the kind of people who are very encouraging, very optimistic. And just around you, just hanging out with you. The people who are very pessimistic and you know will bring you down. Yeah. They are the ones that will hurt your mindset, hurt your mentality, hurt everything you've ever tried to work for in your life. And it is true. I mean, <clears throat> I've personally been through an experience where that was the case. All of us. My have. former Maybe not. best friend. She used to do two things that were completely her favorite. Her significant other had forced her to stop those, and it was because he was getting jealous and very pessimistic and. I figured after what she went through last year, it would be something good for her to get back into. And I told her that. Yet, she continued to cut me out because of that. And trying to help her, I basically am to the point where she is a pessimistic person now. I'm not. So no. it's like complete polar opposites usually don't communicate, but when they do, it's, it's rare. It's World War Three. 
Uh, no, I was gonna say it's. Ra I did say it's rare. It's ra It's even more rare when it does happen, and it's World War Three. But <sighs> I guess all of us have had situations where, like, we've crossed paths with people who are very pessimistic when uh, they're like. Oh crap! I forgot that friend is gonna is on follow your YouTube channel too. Huh? <laughs> She'll know who I'm talking yeah, about. That's okay. I mean, sometimes you have to exert your thoughts on things, and if it's the case, then, you know, things sometimes have to be done. But regardless, as long as it benefits the individual, it's better that way. Um, but one way or the other, being around more optimistic people does have a tendency to benefit those better, regardless one way or the other. If they choose to do otherwise, that's, you know, that's their choice. Honestly... If it wasn't for this pessimistic superhero right here, I probably wouldn't be smiling as much as I am right now. Huh. Wrong word. <laughs> I mean, optimistic. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> exhaustion. I blame exhaustion, honey. I'm pessimistic. You are ow, not pessimistic. Ow. That hurt both my, my nipple and my jaw. Are you okay? And you That's... are not pessimistic. You are optimistic. I know. <laughs> Sorry. That's why. That's why I joke. I blame it. exhaustion. Yeah, it's okay. Well, being that she's tired, we're gonna leave this video here. Um, that's kind of just a discussion I thought would, you know, fit for uh, five hundred milestone. Even though let's again, once again, by the time you guys see it, we're probably already at six hundred. Hopefully. But at this point, what I'm gonna start doing, as I said at the beginning of this, we're gonna just start doing um, milestones every five hundred. And once we get to a certain point, it'll be every thousand. Uh, Ooh. You know, hopefully. When it, it becomes a thousand, I will be su super proud of my hero. I'm already proud of this one anyway. Oh, bite me. No. <laughs> Maybe later. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning into this video, and thanks for all of you. Thanks again so good, so much, guys, for 500, 600, whatever stuff Thank we're you. at right now. Thank you. Maybe <laughs> next time you guys will get to see me in my ears and tail. Next time for a thousand, I've already got something in mind. We're going to start doing, like, um different challenges for every large milestone. Uh, next time, plan on... I can't believe I'm about to say this because I don't like it, but the cinnamon challenge. The cinnamon challenge? Where do you take pure cinnamon and just start... See how no. much you eat. No, I couldn't do that. That's what I I'm going to do. I would choke. I would choke. No, that's what I'm going to do. You okay, you can do that, but I'm going to choke on it if that's, I do that. That's why you're not doing it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys once again for 500... Again, 506 or wherever we're at right now. Um, thanks again for tuning into this video as well. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for any discussion or videos you'd like to see or any suggestions for any other types of challenges that give you guys the stars you like to see at the milestone markers, uh, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other stuff on this channel that's, you know, live or whatever you might like? Links on the, s the ones above her head ones probably on my head. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be right here, right across the forehead. It says stupid, don't you know? And <laughs> no, it does not. It says idiot. I, 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 I. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dear. You are not an idiot. You are the, one of the smartest people I know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, check out the channel if you'd rather watch something else that might uh, catch your eye. In the meantime, though, we're going to head off. This one needs to get some rest, and I... I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Playing nappy nap? I highly doubt it. I'm not really tired. You are, but I'm not. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks again for subbing. Thanks for liking. Uh, once again, check out the channel if you want to see more content. But in the meantime, we're going to head off. Thanks again, guys. And we hope to see you guys in another video. Bye! See ya!